Hi guys, here's a little update on what I've been up to, what's going on and what might be coming up in upcoming weeks shortly. So I finally picked it up, I waited ages until I could pick up a copy. Cause let's get more Batman games played on YouTube. Cause it's me and I'm Batman and Batman games rule. I haven't forgotten, I launched a Sega Dreamcast game giveaway. I'll be boxing up a retro dude's copy and sending that out to you mate. <laughs> So I've been keeping really busy, but in the right ways. I actually started finally playing The Witcher 3 a couple of weeks ago. Some of you guys know I love my RPG games, and once I get stuck into those, there is no stopping me. I'm doing all the side quests, getting loads of loot, just really, really enjoying it. Starting to feel a little bit dated now, which is kind of why I wanted to play Witcher 3 before I started playing some of the other action adventure or role playing games that have been made over the last couple of years. So I hope you guys are all keeping well. I've been trying to look after myself. I've been eating well. I haven't been doing the exercise, so that is a massive fail. Uh, but I had a few reasons to need to kind of enforce a little bit of lockdown over the last few weeks. Um, but I'm, I'm clear of that now, so I'm able to go out and um, do a lot more stuff. I had started filming some of the next fitness special, the Gaz Gamer Adventures, whatever I was calling it, but I think I might get back working on that if it's something that you guys would want to see. I know some of you do really enjoy that. So I've been keeping busy. I've just been growing my beard a little bit, actually. It's um, It hasn't had a chop in a really long time, but it's one of those things, every time I think, oh, okay, I'll trim it a little bit now, I kind of then decide afterwards, no, actually, I might keep it. I'll grow it a little bit more, see what it looks like, but it's it's coming along. It's 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 more facial hair than I've ever had in my life, so um, I'm just going to enjoy that while I've got it. So if you guys can let me know what videos have you enjoyed that I've done recently, I've kind of more gone to a format now of doing one good video a week rather than putting them out at a higher rate where it was taking me a lot of work to produce them. And I think as well, if I make too many videos too quickly, and then if I do two uploads or three uploads in a week, I think some people just don't get around to actually seeing them all anyway. So what have you guys enjoyed recently? I've done my Boris Johnson wants to give me 1.8 million. That was so much fun filming. Um, I've actually had a lot more conversations with the email scammer since, and I've almost, almost got to a point where I'm ready to produce part two with a big finale. So if you guys want more of that and you found that amusing, I can work on part two of that. Then I did my N64 Mario Kart video, which was pretty cool. I could have got a little bit more gameplay and stuff into that, but I guess my kind of look back series is more about just kind of looking back at the game, why I liked it and what made it special, rather than me kind of just doing a gameplay which is probably a million of those on YouTube already anyway. But I do need to make the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time video because that was a joint winner, those two in the community poll that we did. So I've recorded some footage for that, but I'm, I'm yet to put that together. I have got a video of my Banjo-Kazooie First for Figures statue coming up because I got that through a few weeks ago and I've made a little unboxing, putting the statue together. It's absolutely phenomenal. Love it. So if you guys like your Banjo, your Nintendo characters, you like your first for figures, really cool retro gaming memorabilia, collectibles, figures or statues, you're gonna really, really enjoy that video. So I should release that this week for you guys. I've also been busy with a few pickups. Now I haven't really been buying so much stuff lately because actually I own so many games and I hardly ever get to move on to the new ones if I'm playing a big action RPG game. And I don't get into the retro games room enough, but I have actually needed to pay a trip to the local opticians because I think so much extra screen work during lockdown where it's more time looking and working at a PC and then I think going to the retro games room as well, it's all more strain on the eyes. And I'm actually, I'd need some new glasses. So my prescriptions changed a little bit. So I'm probably not gonna be in the retro games room for the next couple of weeks until I get my new glasses and get 
much better eyesight because I'll be getting a lot of like headaches and brain fog that kind of comes with eye strain. It's really horrible. I've got to wait about you know, another two weeks before I can pick those up. Um, the glasses that I've got are pretty much the same as my old ones, so they're not going to be anything outrageous. If I hadn't even mentioned it, you guys wouldn't even have realised that I've got new ones. Um, but that is a reason why I probably will be doing a lot less gaming over the next few weeks. Maybe making some more videos making some more vlogs if you guys are enjoying this. So anyway, I've made some pickups recently and um, it was actually Kev Gaming XP that was showing off a bit of Batman gameplay. But I never had the original Batman. I even I played the NES version, but I never actually knew this existed on the Mega Drive for some reason, or I just never got around to checking it out. So I finally picked it up. I waited ages until I could pick up a copy for a fair price because so many things are overpriced on the internet. Um, I knew what I wanted to pay for it to get a complete inbox with an instruction manual and it's fair condition, like it doesn't have to be outstanding, in, not collector's edition, but just complete in box, that's what I like. Then I've also been busy picking up, da -da 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 -da. we have got the Darius collections for the PlayStation 4, amazing. So, Strictly Limited Games strike again, as soon as I saw these guys going up for pre-order, I had to have them. Now they're probably quite pricey for what they are and actually the game files for the collection on each disc are probably really, really, really small. Um, and really it should all just be on one combined disc. But I don't care guys, I love these kind of shooter games. And actually I haven't really played many Darius games before. So this is going to be really, really special and really, really fun for me. So there's two disc editions, you've got your console and the arcade disc and you've got different games on each one. But yeah, we've we've got both of them, so we've got the complete package. Pretty cool as usual, um, Strictly Limited. It comes with the postcards that you get. And we've also got pin badges as well, which is really, really cool. I never really kind of am phased too much about collector stuff. I don't really normally ever worry about what is in the box um, because I am more just about getting the games. But sometimes it's nice to get a few extra little collectibles. Sometimes I keep things, I mean, I'm not really a badge collector. Um, sometimes I keep some of this stuff thinking I might give it away on a future giveaway, but then having said that, I just end up collecting stuff and never getting around to it. So, on the topic of giveaways, I haven't forgotten, I launched a Sega Dreamcast game giveaway video a little while ago. Um, I haven't technically closed the contest, I don't think I did. So if you guys want a Sega Dreamcast game, um, they were PAL wrestling games which I was willing to post to anyone in the UK that wanted one. Um, if you want one, guys, go back and check that video, put a comment on that you want to enter, and I've got a few copies to give away. So I'll be boxing up um, a Retro Dudes copy and sending that out to you, mate, in the next week or so. I haven't forgotten. I'm going to send you some Gaz Loves Games goodies, some little signed Gaz Loves Games cards, which match the original T-shirt. So we've still actually got the t-shirts for sale on the Teespring. You'll normally find that link in any of my videos. But I did promise a while back that I would make some newer updated logo designs for those that were interested. A few people have bought this, not too many, but they still are on there if you want them. And I think I will make some new ones for this year. Maybe to celebrate how hard the year has been and to celebrate the fact that better times are going to come for us all because 2020 I think most people have wanted to write off and I think we're all going to be celebrating a little bit like I'm starting to get out and about a little bit more meet up with some people that I haven't seen since the start of the year see some more family as well like obviously we've still got to be really really careful and distant at the moment but I think as the year goes on rules around lockdown and distancing will change and hopefully by the end of the year, we'll be in a good place, hopefully, all around the world by the end of the year and in time for Christmas. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little update. It's been fun chatting because I haven't made one of these kind of videos for a little while. So hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments anything that you want to pick up on or comment or tackle that we've raised in this video because I always like to hear from you and I do listen. So anyway guys, if you're new to the channel, well hit that subscribe button if you want to guys. Please leave me a like and I'll see you guys in an upcoming video soon. Cheers. Yes mate. Yes mate.